Hello lovely people, welcome to Pinna. I've just done a hideous, horrible, sweaty drive down the M1 with roadworks and, 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 and an accident and all the stuff you expect to find on the M1. And I've arrived and Katie has presented me not only with this, which you cannot tell how cold and amazing this is, but also with this. An ice pack for those oh for those of you that watched the videos last year you might remember Katie turned up with an ice pack. The heat drives us to desperate, desperate measures. Here we see Katie helps. I think that's a cold towel on her face. I'm not sure. Are you happy under there, Katie? Yeah, and I've got an ice pack in my pants. <laughs> So, no guesses for where I'll be putting mine later. Oh my god, I'm so sweaty, I'm so hot. But I have to go now because we have to do a get in and put our set kind of here where we stood. So, I'll catch up with you in a bit. We are now all set up and I am cuddling that beautiful, beautiful, look at it, gorgeous ice pack that Katie bought. I'm literally cuddling it. I'm so hot. Katie Helps is an absolute legend, by the way, and if you ever get the opportunity to tour with her, you should. Because we finished the get out, and not only did she pass this back, but she also handed out pre-cooled drinks to everyone. Legend. In fact, here we go, Chris is coming on over with his now. It's just so good. Well, I don't know what the temperature is at the minute. I'll find out and I'll stick it up on the screen. Can I use but that in hot. like a showreel so that maybe I'll get a coke out of it? Oh yeah, do you want to go for it? You do smolder very well. We are here with Chris to find out why he loves performing in hot weather. I love performing in hot weather because I just really hope that I'm going to sweat all of my body fat off. Cool. Nice, nice. And you said you've not got any hairspray on today. Because there's just no point. Because do you know why? Because I have to wear this before anyone sees my hair. Nice. On top of this and this over the top of that and with this underneath. Excellent. So. If I'm not a waif of the man that came here today at the end of the show, I will be very upset. I like uh, the heat because I find I'm actually a sexier actor when I'm sweating. Uh, you know that scene in Flashdance where she's like um, yeah, straddled back and she pulls the thing and the water comes down? Mm -hmm. That's basically what I look like when I'm sweating all the time. Just imagine that. And imagine guys, we have to perform opposite that. It is hard to keep ourselves in check. Try and focus guys, try and focus. Yeah, yeah it's really warm. Um, yeah. And I am not having the best concentration day to day. I already left my bag yeah. on the tube and had to go to Watford to get it. Rachel. Um, <laughs> So we'll see how this goes. Finally, with Kate Helps, the genius who brought in the cold drinks and the ice pack. Where's the ice pack today? Hides in my pocket. No way! <laughs> I didn't realise you'd actually done it. Although I do have to sit down quite. Are you going to go on stage with it in? Yeah. Well, I did in Fulham. It's got to oh, that is amazing. Maybe so there's, uh, Katie's brought a, a second one, which I plan to cuddle when I get my little oh, quiche. Too late, sorry, my uh, but I love the idea that Katie's actually going to go on stage. So mm -hmm. if you were watching this at, where are we, Pinner, if you're watching this at Pinner, know that Prospera, here is the lovely Prospera, oh. had an ice pack down her pants for the first half of the show. Needs must. <laughs> Needs must. I sweat oh. so much. They're all running my eyes. Oh, the and I couldn't see him. Yeah. Good news was, I was supposed to be upset. So my eyes were streaming. But it didn't matter. My ears were underwater. Well, my left ear. Because I get a bucket through them from stage left, right, and below. And it just all went in my ear. So I'm running around and my head is sloshing. And the sweat is running down to my eyes. So I can't see anything. So I'm blind. And I can't hear anything in one ear. But otherwise, it's going well. Oh, my bruise watch. Check this out. Look at that. It's almost gone. My knee doesn't look so great. I'll show you that later. But my arm looks brilliant. Bruce watch on my left leg. Honestly, it's looking a lot better than it was. I don't think I've ever shown you guys my uh, post aerial braids hair. This is what my hair looks like when I take it out of my braids at night. And then this is what it looks like after I brush it. 80s-tastic. It is so insanely hot in my hotel room today that I've added my towels 
to try and keep the light out of the room to keep the heat out. I have tucked the curtain in at the bottom so it's sort of out of the window to let the air in but keep all of the light out. And as an added extra, I've gone out and bought some ice. The ice is in front of the fan, so the fan is now blowing cold air into the room, and it's amazing. I've got a second bag of ice, which I'm gonna use to put into my water, into my drinks, to put my food with. It's so warm. Welcome to the lovely Tunbridge Castle. We're about to start our getting. It is about 31 degrees, but there is a breeze and compared to the last video you saw in the hotel room right now i feel cool i feel great getting done still very very hot chris what's going on uh, i'm just helping this lovely lady open her bottle of Ooh, what is this whispering angel oh nice and with the uh, bottle opener that you just happen to have on your person? With the bottle opener that I've always had in my bag for the last like eight years. <laughs> it's, can it's cantilevered. Oh, that's good. Look at that. It is. Now you're my hero. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Perfect. Thank you. You're a legend, mate. Absolute legend. Always a bartender. When the pin, like one of these that you need, disappears, what do you do? Why, you use a perfectly sized screwdriver in its place. Excellent work from David Sayers there. Our lovely audience enjoying far superior weather to what we had last year when it absolutely bucketed it down. It's the great British summer. Hooray! <laughs> Looking pretty good though this year, five pan up. Look at that beautiful blue sky. Just a little bit, I'm just a little bit showing it. A little bit disheveled. Like I said, very, very different to this time last year. To be fair, last year I was this wet because we were getting absolutely torrentially rained on. So shiny. <laughs> Good evening everybody, it is 20 to 1 in the morning and we have just checked into our hotel. We are staying the night in a hotel in Dover. Then tomorrow we're going to the port to get a ferry to Calais, driving through France and Belgium onto the Netherlands for our first of our Netherlands show, which I'm really excited about, but it's gonna be a long day tomorrow. So we have to catch the ferry at 7.40 in the morning, which means we have to leave our hotel at 6.40. And as I said, it is currently 20 to 1. And once again, one freshly washed Gonzalo beard. Night, everyone. We travelled yeah. 400 miles today across four countries. <gasps> oh my god, did you all see that? <laughs> 